Today I'm going to talk about the last planet in our solar system. Do you know what it is? It is Neptune! Let's get into the video. Okay, this is Benji. I don't know how he came right now, but just let's keep him here. He likes to be not alone. So, Neptune is dark, cold, and has a lot of supersonic winds. It's the last planet in our solar system, and it's more than 30 times as far from the sun as Earth is. How cool is that? So let's dive deeper into this icy world. From an average distance of 2.8 billion miles, 4.5 billion kilometers, Neptune is 30 astronomical units away from the sun. One astronomical unit, also known as AU, is the distance from the sun to Earth. From this distance, it takes four hours from the sun to Neptune. Johann Gale was a German astronomer known for being the first to observe the planet Neptune on September the 23rd, 1846, using a telescope at the Berlin Observatory with the help of a student. His discovery was based on mathematical calculations of an unknown planet's position by a French mathematician, Urban Levier. 23rd September 2025, it will be exactly 170 79 years and zero months. Isn't that cool? Neptune has 16 known moons. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, was discovered on October the 10th, 1846 by William Lassell. Just 17 days after, Neptune was discovered on September the 23rd, 1846. Since Neptune was named for the Roman goddess sea, its moons are named for various lesser sea gods and nymphs in Greek mythology. Did you know Triton is the largest moon in the solar system that circles its planet opposite direction? So, if Neptune's going this way, Triton will go the other way around. That's so weird. And this may be because Triton may be an independent object that Neptune captured. Did you know that Neptune also has rings which are thought to be formed by collisional fragmentation of the inner moons? Neptune's environment is not conductive to life as we know it. The temperatures, pressures and materials that characterise this planet is most likely too extreme and votes for organisms to adapt to. Did you know Neptune does not have a solid surface? Its atmosphere, mostly made of hydrogen, helium and methane, extends to great depths, gradually merging into the water and other melted ices over a heavier solid core with about the same mass as Earth. Neptune has at least five main rings and four prominent ring arcs, which means rings that are well known or are easily found. Starting near the planet and moving outwards, the main rings are named Gale, Le Verrier, Lasso, Arago and Adams. These rings are thought to be relatively young and short-lived. Gale, which is 26,000 miles, 41,900 kilometers. Le Verrier, which is 33,100 miles, 53,200 kilometers. La Salle, which is 34,400 miles, 55,400 kilometers. Arago and Adams, which are 35,800 miles, 57,600 kilometers. Now the ring arches are Liberté, Egalité, Fraternité and Courage. These are 39,100 miles, 62,900 kilometers. These rings are from the innermost to the outermost rings. One second now, Mark, quickly get my book, okay? I need to show my people. Oh, is it? Oh, what happened? Oh no, Benji! Cinema roll! Is it that boring? Really? Come on. Just for the video, okay? Then you can have a mini rest, okay? 
Oh no, that's what happens when you have Benji by your side sometimes. He's really cheeky. <laughs> like Uranus, whose magnetic axis is tilted above 60 degrees from the axis of rotation, Neptune's magnetosphere goes undergoes wild variations during each rotation because of this misalignment. The magnetic field of Neptune is about 27 times more powerful than on Earth. Neptune is mostly made of hydrogen and helium. Like Neptune's neighbour Uranus, the meeting absorbs all the other colours but reflects blue, giving these icy giants a similar hue. Many images of Neptune coming from the Voyager 2 flyby in 1989 show Neptune as a much deeper blue. This was because the Voyager team tweaked the images to better reveal the clouds and other distinctive features on the planet. Did you know Neptune is the windiest planet in the solar system? Despite its distance and low energy, Energy input from the sun, Neptune's winds can be three times stronger than Jupiter and nine times stronger than Earth. These winds whip up frozen methane across the planet at speeds more than 1,200 miles per hour, 2,000 kilometers per hour. In 1989, an oval shaped storm in Neptune's southern hemisphere dubbed the Great Dark Spot, was large enough to contain the entire Earth. That storm has since disappeared, for you, but new ones have appeared on different parts of the planet. You better pack for a long trip when you trek on Neptune, the most distant planet from our solar system. It's so far away, in fact, it's the only planet you can't see from the Earth with the naked eye. They noticed that Neptune, oh uh, no, let me just shut around. They noticed that Neptune, why am I saying Neptune? Yes, because I'm always into Neptune, right? They noticed that Uranus, Neptune's nearest planetary neighbour, trailed in a way that suggested the gravitational pull of the eighth planet. After Triton is Proteus at 420 kilometres wide, Nereid has a highly stretched orbit. It swoops close to Neptune before flying seven times further out. Did you know Proteus was discovered only in 1989 by the Voyager 2 spacecraft? This is unusual since Neptune has a smaller moon, Nereid, which was discovered in 1949, 33 years earlier from Earth. The reason Proteus was not discovered sooner is that its surface is very dark and its orbit is much closer to Neptune. Neptune took shape when the rest of the solar... <laughs> like its neighbour Uranus, Neptune likely formed close to the Sun and then moved outer solar system. Okay, I'm going to go Last go and do this correctly, okay? Let's do this some Yes! Neptune took shape when the rest of the solar system formed about 4.5 billion years ago when gravity pulled swirling gas and dust to become this ice giant. Like its neighbour Uranus, Neptune likely formed closer to the Sun and then moved outer solar system about four billion years ago. Neptune is one of the two ice giants in the outer solar system, the other icy giant Uranus. Most of the planet's mass is made up of a hot dense fluid of icy materials above a small rocky core. Of the giant planets, Neptune is the densest. Scientists think there might be a hot boiling water under Neptune's cold clouds. This does not boil away because incredibly high pressure keeps it locked inside. From Neptune's inner layer to outer layer, the, it is... Uh, sorry, sorry. From Neptune's inner layer to outer layer, it is... The core is the centre of Neptune. It's a white hot core of rock and iron that is larger than Earth. The temperature here is about 5,000 Celsius. 
The mantle is a hot, dense liquid composed mainly of water, methane and ammonia. This layer is more than 10 times the mass of Earth. Then is the atmosphere. Even though Neptune is the furthest planet, Voyager discovers Neptune is warmer than Uranus and the source of the heat is still a mystery. One theory is that the buildup of pressure beneath the thick layers of cloud turns the carbon and methane into rain made up of diamonds which melt as they fall into the interior of the planet, producing extra heat. Friends, I can't believe I reached the last video of our solar system. In the comments below, put your favourite planet. When I was seven years old, this is a story, okay? Someone has been holding the camera for me, pushing me forward, saying, you got this, you can do this. And you know who that is? It is you, Amma, and thank you so much. You're the best mum in the world, and I'm so grateful because I have no words for, to say because you're like an amazing person who is keeping me always going forward. Whenever times are down, you're like, yes, come on, don't be sad. Come on, come on, let's do this video. Let's smash this together. So thank you so much, Amma. I can't express any words. And... In my video analysis, analysis, um, I can see people who are just viewing my videos instead of subscribing. So to those people out there who are doing this, please subscribe. When you put that subscribe button on your phone to my channel, it encourages me, making me reach my goals, my dreams of helping people, children, and even educating you further on different, different things so then you can find more things which are really, really cool, like Neptune. So please subscribe and I can't wait to see you next time because I'm going to create a video which is amazing. It's not going to be linked to planets but something other than planets. Please watch the next video. Oh, it was gonna, it's good for neatly gonna come really soon, really quickly. So please keep your eyes on the notification and I'll see you soon. Bye guys!